Located on what was once a working dairy farm in Palmer is the National Shrine for the Apostolate of the Suffering, also known as Mary Farm. The shrine relies on volunteers to keep this ministry open. Nick Morganelli paid a visit to Mary Farm over the summer and brings us this story. Mary Farm volunteers had fellowship with one another and celebrated all they have accomplished in the past year. Current President Dennis Hamill explains how important it was to get everyone together for one day. It's just nice where we're not working now. We get to have some good food together, enjoy our company, play some games, and just talk to each other in general because we don't all get a chance to come together as a large group like this. So we have some new people and we're giving them tours of Mary Farm. The farm is not just a place for prayer, but has a wonderful purpose in service to others. Keeping the goal that my father, as one of the founding fathers, had in mind of having Mary Farm as a retreat for handicapped people. This is the national headquarters for the United States of America of the Apostle of Suffering. In whatever way you suffer, so we come together in prayer and we offer up our suffering to Jesus on the cross. And so we, we unite our, our prayers to God in thanksgiving for his son. Stasia Bronner, parishioner at St. Mary's in Ware, is a past president and has been volunteering here for a decade. It didn't take much convincing because the message, what to do with the suffering. Do we get angry with God or do we offer it to God and suffer with Him? What used to be a dairy farm now has several places where you can enjoy quiet time or prayer with the Lord. We got 10 acres, we got a beautiful brook that runs in the back. We have Stations of the Cross that are hand-carved marble from Italy. We have a large rosary outside the cross that surrounds the cross. And people go out and they'll pray the rosary, put their hand on each bead and pray the rosary and walk. With all this land, buildings, and places for prayer, they are in need of the time and talent of additional volunteers. It's just like having a home. We have lawn mowing to do. There's 10 acres. We have weed whacking to do around the house, the flower beds. We have flower beds that need maintenance and care every day. You gotta water them, you gotta weed them. We have painting and staining of different parts of the, of the hall. We have some tree work that needs to be done. We have some electrical work, some plumbing work. Everything we do here is volunteer work. This is all a devotion, like I said, to the Blessed Virgin Mary. We only have a handful of people right now that are volunteering. Patricia Boynton found healing in Mary Farm after the loss of her son, who died in the military nearly 10 years ago. About three years ago, I really started healing quite a bit, and gardening became my therapy. It's really for Mother Mary, and she helped me so much through the loss of our son. And while I was working out here last year, I would look at the statue, I would pray, you know, and talk to Mary, and I thought, she needs a makeover. <laughs> God it really provides for us. Um, a woman emailed me and said she was interested in the Mary Farm and told me in the course of our conversation that she restores statues. And so she offered to do Mother Mary for us. So this year, she is new. We have one woman who is pretty much a master gardener and she has, she's creating a beautiful rock garden on one side of the house. That's Regina Mace. She and her husband, Edmund, spend their time with the landscaping as well. Patty and I found the St. Francis statue and I said, that would be perfect with what I'm doing. I was thinking in the other section of it will be the bird bath. I just love it here. So this was an opportunity for me to garden and, and just explore. And then it's so beautiful and peaceful here just to, you know, pray. He's wanting to build it back up so that this is back up to a retreat center like it used to be. And I'm, I'm all down for that. I mean, I really, I'm, whatever I can do to help, I'm, I'm here for. And we hope you can join Regina and others as their next volunteer. Finding peace and healing in suffering. For Real to Real, I'm Nick Morganelli. To get involved with the Apostle of the Suffering at Mary Farm, you can email Dennis Hamill at maryfarm at comcast.net or call 413-283-4529.